What's up guys, James DTV here. Uh, welcome back to another video. We're doing the room and setup tour uh, for October 2021. We got a little bit of updates. Um, you're also going to see something really good that happened. Um, also kind of disappointing. There was part of it that was disappointing. But anyway, um, yeah, let's get into the video. <laughs> The reason I picked today to do this video is because it's friggin' raining outside, you know? So yeah, it's rain. Also, um, we'll, we'll start over here at the bed. You got Rue. Rue. Hey, Rue. Hi, Rue. Oh, you're a good Rue. Yeah. Yeah, my bed. I just got a bunch of stuff back there. But yeah, here's my bed I sleep on. I got two pillows. I got blankets. Uh, my iPad's sitting there. Uh, we got the new updated the james dtv wall art i made this myself here's the original from uh 2020 so yeah as you can see here i never got the 2012 macbook pro 13 inch so that never happened i never got the playstation classic never got a samsung flat screen i did get apple keyboard and mouse but it wasn't magic keyboard or magic mouse uh i still have my airpods um I still have my iPhone 6. I'm actually on an iPhone 8 now, but yeah. The new one's updated, which uh, there is one thing that kind of changed before I was finished with it. I don't know if I'm still finished. I might continue working on it, but it says the James D TV. It just shows all my current devices. So I got the iPhone 6 on iOS 12.5.5, uh, Jailbroken with Chimera, um, iPhone 7 on 14.7.1, because it won't update iPhone 8 on 15.0.2. It's actually on 15.1 RC right now, the release candidate. Uh, my Motorola Moto E5 Play on Android 8.0. My LG Phoenix 4 on Android 8.1.1. And my iPad 2 on iOS 9.3.5. That's never going to change unless I find a way to downgrade it. That's the only time the software number will change. It's not going to get any newer versions. And my laptop on Linux Mint, which I noticed the screen's a little short. Uh, my 200 subscriber play button. AirPods, AirPods Pro, aftermarket AirPods charging case. This was supposed to be a city icon. I suck at it. The Xbox controller, I tried tracing my controller. Doesn't look as good. My Fitbit, AKG Samsung earbuds. We got the Gucci poster, Internet Recovery Team poster, and it says the James D TV up here. Right here, the shelf is actually now over here once more. Uh, we'll start with going from the top down. Uh, we got the 221 subscribers. I hope that goes up. Oh, my little Seahawks thing I made out of miniature Legos. Motorola Profile 300E. Here, let me wipe off my camera lens a little. There, I think that's better. Uh, my Motorola Moto E5 Play. I have the two Motorolas next to each other. My old 45 subscriber uh, play button that I made last year. My 100 subscriber play button that I ended up just putting in a different frame because I got the scaling wrong and it actually fit in this one. YouTube logo looks a little weird. My 200 subscriber play button that I made, which is in a better frame, and it looks a lot like the real play buttons, like the old ones. Uh, down here we got all the boxes. I think that's all of them. I don't, well, all the Apple ones. So we got the iPhone SE 1, iPhone 6S, iPhone 12 Pro Max, iPad Mini 2, iPad 2, iPhone SE 2, uh, iPhone 6, 6S again, and 4S. And then over here we got some fake AirPods. My original fake AirPods, I actually have another pair of i12 TWS, but they don't look like the ones I had. Um, AirPods 2, the AirPods charging case and the box, AirPods Pro box, I have the charging case somewhere. Uh, we got the license plates, Coke bottles, uh, a bunch of family pictures, um, my Apple keyboard and my Apple mice, and then just down here I got a bunch of random crap. I didn't. I don't know if I showed up the nightstand, it's kind of a mess, but whatever. I have a heater, I'm probably gonna turn that off for now just so it doesn't have the sun in the background. Um, I just set this here to make it look like I have a TV, but I don't. Um, this is my old monitor. Uh, this is the VR headset. Put black electrical tape on the cardboard so now it blends in a little better. My school Chromebook, I hate Chromebooks. Honestly, Linux is better. I have Linux, this isn't Mac OS. Um, USB, my, I mean, micro USB cable, uh, my AirPods Pro case, I lost the AirPod, uh, my camera, wireless charging pad, yeah. And then over here, of course, we got the desk, yeah. I have my monitor sitting here just because I have the RGB lights, and let me turn them off and on. We got party mode. 
This was programmable in the, in the friggin' light bulb app, so I did it. And then we've got the, um, got the keyboard, the mouse, the laptop. Yes, the laptop works again. I bought a new screen. I paid 50 bucks for a new display on eBay. And I installed it and it works. I just don't have a webcam anymore that, if for some reason, it doesn't work. Yeah, this is the Gamdius Hermes P1 keyboard. This is that one that I got. It's got auto brightness on there. My Xbox controller, my new tripod I got from a friend. It's a little shorter. It does extend. The legs do. Yeah, we've got um, keyboards over there. I have like four keyboards now and five computer mice because, you know, it's just somehow I have more mice than keyboards. I don't know. Uh, the table is over here. I know my dirty clothes baskets are there. Why is the box that my iPhone 7 came in in there? Whatever. Yeah, we've got um, got my over-ear headphones. Look at that. These are nice. I, I broke the friggin' auxiliary cable, which I'm going to buy. In the, what's going on with my mouse? My mouse is, like, flickering. I don't think my laptop's outputting enough power for it. But yeah, I've got a Lego truck I built. You know, I built this. Just based off of my own design. Not bad. Yeah, this AirBuds case has one of my old Logitech mouse in there. Um, yeah, I got Xbox controller box over there. Got just a bunch of stuff here. I still have to clean this up. But, yeah, we got the closet, you know. If I open it, I got my clothes in there. Sort of organized. I uh, just crammed a bunch of other stuff in here. A box to a keyboard that I'm just going to put my... Gambia's keyboard in just so then that way if I ever like move or something I can actually just put it in the box to protect it because you know this actually fits in that box um here are the fake airpods I have uh these actually connect with the, the they pair the same way as real ones except you have to well they have the w1 chip or h1 chip I don't know which one they replicated but you take it out it pops up on your iphone you connect it Oh, that's just a reflection of the light. I was like, why is the case on? But yeah, um, they're matte black. My i11 TWS, a different... I There there was another version I had that were a uh, white version of these ones. And they had the W1 chip in them. But yeah, these ones, uh, they don't have it. And they also have micro USB. I don't use these anymore. I never really did use them. Uh, which AirPods case is this? This is my AirPods charging case that is made in China. And then um, here's another one that I have that's made in Vietnam. I have two made in Vietnam charging cases and two made in China charging cases. The chair, which believe it or not, I think this is the same chair that I had during the first updated setup tour where I had my old desk. I don't know. Funny thing is my original desk was made off of that plastic shelf. I mean, that plastic drawer thing. That was my original desk. And it had like a wood... Uh, wood board. I had another dresser like this and I just took the shelf out of it and used it as the desk like the top of the desk So it was a little larger and that's what I've filmed a couple videos on I've got this uh, Duracell portable charger that just doesn't hold a charge. That's nice Duracell your your, your portable chargers don't work my uh, DB power DVD player remote. Yeah yeah, my Dell monitor that I got for free out of, out of a box in my neighbor's front yard that said free on it, so I didn't steal it. Oh, oh God. Yeah. They're just giving out free stuff, so I got my Fosterama bag that was in there, which was pretty good. I have my Dell keyboard under that HP one. If you wonder why I said HP, it's because Dank Pods fans will understand what I was talking about. You know, it's a H and a P. What am I supposed to say? Huh? Puh? Yeah, Dink Pods fans understand that one. <laughs> yeah, no. Why does it seem like my screen's getting brighter? What the heck? I didn't know there was, like, friggin' brightness sensors in there. Yeah, I got the Naruto thing that I got for Christmas. My, uh, yeah, world map. Stapled to the wall. I am thinking, well, if I ever film videos here, I'm gonna probably use this, have the phone mount in it, and it'll be facing me, and maybe you guys will be able to see the background. That's why I actually put the shelf here for videos like that. So you guys can see the shelf behind me. You know, we got the, the 1996. I was born in 2006. This thing's 10 years older than me. My brother was only six years old when that phone came out. Because my brother was born in 1990. Shout out to Rodney. He's my brother. Um, yeah. The James D TV. If, if I end up, like, redoing my room, I may just go to Hobby Lobby and just buy 
pre-cut ones that are like not made from notebook paper that I used one of those uh, letter cutting thingies at school for. I only did that because I was planning on putting them up on my wall and I didn't do it until like three months later, I think. Then I finally did it and it's up there at the internet. I gotta find the Ford Lobo poster. Oh, it's over here. I just gotta find my electrical tape so I can hang it back up, you know. Yeah, um, I guess that's about it for this video, you know. Just another room and setup tour that I haven't done for a while. You know, I was going to do one last month. I think it was better I waited for now to do it. Because I did update my room and I don't think I ever did a room and setup tour after I moved my room back around. Because the bed's over here again. Because uh, the bed used to be over here. This desk was in the spot where the shelf is. And then the shelf was over there. And I, the, this was in front of the window. Well, the, no, then I did move this over here first. And then this, I think, was my nightstand over. Yeah, because Rue would get in and she'd hop onto there. And that's how she... Wait, no, I think it was either Rue or Tara that knocked over my iPhone 7. I think it was Tara that knocked it over. You guys, if you guys don't know who Tara is, that's Rue's daughter. Hi, Rue. Oh, you can hear the purring. Watch, she'll let me do this. She lets me do it. If a cat lets you do that, they have complete trust in you. I read that online. First time I tried doing it to her last year, she did not like that, and she scratched me, but she, she lets me do it now. Don't you, Rue? Rue, Rue, Rue. As you can see, Luna is in the kitchen. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess I guess that's about it for this video. I mean, like, I haven't done a room and setup tour for a while, because last time I did, the bed was just over here. And uh, the table was over here. That's where the table was after I moved this. I think I moved it before I got the table. Yeah, no, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.